Welcome back to Building Modern APIs with RESTful, I'm Mateo and in the last video, apart from having to debug a minor issue because I couldn't remember uh, the configuration key for the field definition in, in here, um, we saw uh, how to declare our plugins. Our, we, uh, actually, we all already knew because we had already created the plugin for labels and <clears throat> we created one for people and one for bands uh, with the promise that we can now connect them together so um, there are some special fields that are relationships to other resources uh, one of them is the taxonomy term because it, it's a relationship from an entity to a taxonomy term also, there are the entity reference that relate an entity to any other entity or itself. And uh, those, those kind of resources, they can be used to create relationships. And if we start, uh, if we go to the JSON API website, as I told you before, you'll see that relationships are um, a special thing when building APIs. So, uh, since RESTful already knows that this field, this field manage bands, is um, an entity reference field, it turns it into a relationship. But how? Because you saw here, if I go to labels, that it's not doing it it's just pulling the the ID, the entity ID if we go to band members you'll see that it's only pulling the ID that's because we haven't told RESTful that this manage bands connect, connects to the bands resource so we're going to, to do that so we're going to say resource oops ray and we have the name it's bands and uh, this is what's in here and the major and minor versions major version one minor version is zero okay Cool, we're going to do the same thing, exactly the same, for artists, but in, instead of connecting to the band's resource, we're going to connect to the people. <coughs> Sorry again. Um, so, perfect. Uh, now, this managed bands connects to the band's resource, and this artist connects to the people resource. So are we going to go ahead and check um, in here that we don't have any other references that we need to fill out and we realize here that the there is a reference or a relationship in here for members that relate to people. And that's it. That's that's all that you need. So I'm going to go to labels and pull out uh, number 58 and you can see that I have my attributes name and history and then I have my relationships um, and yeah that is uh, how you how you get it and uh, the data for the bands is uh, the ID and the type and these are the links just like it's defined here in JSON API, data type and NID, and uh, yeah, we have the the information in this uh, format. But I said before that uh, that we could in include that we could include the the information about the bands and artists in the same call. Uh, but if you read the JSON SPI specification, you will see that 
in order to include it you need to pass in uh, the include parameter so basically we can going to say is I'm going to to say give me label the record label 58 and including there the bands and the are actually I'm just gonna include the bands for now so if I do this uh, let me fold this so it doesn't take so much and you see that now there is an included and here I have the band 58 if I unfold this this band 58 and I have the information about band 58 in here and band 58 has some relationships of its own that we could include as well so um, before I do I do that let me show you that I can also include artists by separating by comma artists and I will see that actually let me move to postman because it's a little bit easier to to navigate I'm making the same request and oh I don't know about this um, this screen resolution uh, I I put pull down my screen res resolution a bit so it's better for you when I uh, encode this into a lower a lower quality uh, I, I guess that we can just uh, keep folding stuff so uh, I included artists and here I get the band as before and here I'm getting all of the artists that are managed by the record label which are Billy Joe and Jason White uh, and if we go back to the site itself we'll see that Adeline Record is managing Billy Joe and Jason White and Green Day as a band and uh, here it's Green Day so cool uh, that is that is great but it gets even better because now you can say okay I have the band here included but I also want the members of the band because see there are some relationships in the members so I just need to do bands dot members and this is where your mind should start blowing up. Oops. Uh, there's our band. There's our Billy Joe. There's Jason. There's Mike. And all of the members uh, of the band. And not only that, but see how... Sorry. See how the... The label... Uh, here. See how the label is referencing... ID 53 and ID 56 and also the band references ID 53 and ID 56 so in that case uh, RESTful is smart enough to just pull it once put it once here and uh, since you just want to get information about 56 and 53 once you save some bite, some bytes in there uh, which uh, if you have very complex requests sum up a lot so uh, yeah that's how you include multiple resources in a single request and the best thing is that it's the client who specifies what they want so every client can do whatever they need and you just expose your resources in a not so difficult way um, next up it's gonna be uh, more about talking about how uh, how the clients can customize the the output and request exactly what they need see you then